Hey everyone, Juan here, and today in this video, I wanted to share with you guys three potential winning products that I think you guys can capitalize on. Now, uh, I wanted to start this video by saying, I know it's been a little bit since I last uploaded. I honestly have been spending a lot of time, you know, really focused on my business, and uh, I can say that for sure, sometimes we underestimate how much time is actually required for, you know, specific projects. So. Um, you know, we between like our actual brands that we work on and our, our digital training company, as well as like having some of these workshops uh, between the East Coast and the West Coast, it, it, they, there definitely has been a good amount of time involved and needed to be put into those projects specifically. So uh, that's kind of what I've been up to. But uh, I obviously wanted to obviously come on here and still share value with you guys and still share some of the things that I'm working on and what I'm doing. Um, I do know that I get a, a lot of great feedback from you guys whenever I do upload, so obviously I wanna keep that going. So um, basically one of the main ways I do product research, believe it or not, is actually through social media. So I know a lot of people spend a lot of time like you know, Facebook or Instagram, you know, scrolling and like obviously sharing posts and you know, checking out what other people are doing, but uh, I, I agree, I, sometimes I can be guilty of that as well, but I am actually working on reducing the amount of time I'm spending on social, uh, actually on, on Instagram specifically, which is where I found myself spending the most time just like, you know, t n scrolling on there, not really doing much, but spending time. I actually set a limit on my phone, so I'm up to uh, basically after an hour a day that I spend on Instagram, I get a reminder saying, you know, hey, you've been on for an hour, and I basically cap myself at that. But sometimes I do go over, and the reason why is because when I'm actually on Instagram or Facebook, I focus on really utilizing those platforms to my advantage. So obviously I go on there and I connect with some of you guys sometimes, and I answer questions, you know, uh, message you guys back and forth. But um, I also go on there to research products. So uh, in... Uh, I, I spoke about this in one of my previous videos that go, I go over product research. You can actually put yourself in a category that's called engage shoppers in the eyes of Facebook and Instagram. And basically when, when you're on that category, um, you're known as someone that engages with a lot of ads and um, actually is someone that is like an engaged shopper, like meaning someone that goes online and actively looks through ads and ends up actually looking at websites and buying things and someone that has a high potential chance of converting. And so, as you guys know, when it comes to Facebook ads, like a lot of people do also choose like, hey, show my ads to this specific audience, but also include uh, engaged shoppers as one of the targeting options, right? As to the people that I also want my ads to be shown to. And so, um, the way you can become an engaged shopper is by spending a lot of time actually clicking and engaging with a lot of ads. By engaging, I mean clicking, commenting, sharing, and uh, actually visiting the websites from the ads that you know are actually being ran, um, or the websites that are on the ads that are being ran. That's what I meant. Um, once you do that for different niches, different websites, different space, that's what I do. I focus on you know becoming an engaged shopper, meaning that I spend a lot of time researching different stores, different websites across many different niches, and becoming an engaged shopper because it ends up making my product research process a lot easier. Instead of me having to go out and manually find all these products, I now get ads that are actively shown to me on my timeline. And so now what I do is I focus on going on Facebook or Instagram and spending some time on there, not just wasting time but really uh you know letting all these ads pop up and then you know saving these ads these products specifically and then going and uh, further researching these specific products but while i was doing that recently actually right now i'm actually back in boston i'm here in my in my mom's place so i have a, a little bit of a different background i ended up not having much space to work from here so i ended up having to get uh, a desk set up, I bought this table, I bought these drawers, I bought the, this monitor, and uh, it's it's been helping me a lot because now I'm actually able to get a lot of work done. Before I had to only work from my small little laptop, it's like a 13 inch, so that thing's the worst to work from. But um, yeah, I got this different setup here, so you guys might see a few videos with this uh, background to set up. But um, I wanted to show you guys the products I had found. So I'm just pulling them up on my phone. Um, one of the very first products that I have found while actually doing product research for other products, and that's the cool thing is, is that I wasn't even actively looking for, um, I wasn't actively looking to for these specific products. I was actively doing research across different 
uh, e-commerce stores and different brands for these specific products to see if there was any competition and then I ended up finding other products which are the ones I'm going to show you guys that I, I think could be potential winning products. So the first product is a, it's this UV protect, it's this UV protection mask. So it looks like this mask, it works really well by protecting you from the sunlight and UV rays. It looks like it covers, it covers just the necessary areas. So it covers again, you know, it covers your forehead, it covers from the mouth down and behind your neck. So it pretty much covers all areas. And I think that this mask specifically uh, around this time of the year, because summertime is here, can be useful not only for like outdoors, but also things like fishing, hiking, all these different outdoor spaces. So I think that this product could be, I actually saw ads for this product and I do think that it could be a potential winning product for you guys because again, it's relevant to the time of the year and it's a product that solves a great problem. Nobody likes to be out hiking, hunting or fishing and getting sunburned, right? So um, that's one product that I found that I thought, uh, you know, potentially could be a winning product for you guys. I'd recommend you guys, you know, test it um, and, you know, see if you can get any results with it. Um, typically what I focus on now is, you know, less of like actually testing the products while drop shipping it. I focus now a lot more on, you know, finding these products and seeing how I can build a brand around this specific product. Because personally, ever since I've done that or I started doing that, I've started to get way better results. So for those of you guys that don't know, you know, too much about me, I really focus on using the dropship model to test products, but then transitioning on to build what we call a micro brand. Uh, my business partner and I actually put together a completely free case study, which you guys can check down below this video. There's gonna be a link there. Uh, it's basically showing you guys the exact process we used to launch our very own micro brand. And it's showing you everything, the exact product, the ads, the process we went through, and uh, you know the results we, re we were able to generate our very first month after we launched. So um, if you guys wanna learn a lot more about brand building, uh, I would recommend you check out that case study. It's completely free. Um, it's honestly just super valuable for you guys just to kind of learn how that pro what that process looks like. Uh, because I personally get a lot better results of that from doing that process than I do with just drop shipping. Now, I know on my channel, on you guys that are watching, I get people that are just getting started and people that are a little bit more advanced. So I wanna see if I can tailor some of my content uh, for both of you guys, right? If, if you're just getting started, um, you know, you can possibly still get started using, using just a drop ship model, but if you're a little bit more advanced, I'd recommend you check out a lot more on micro branding. So, um, I had something in my eye. That's one of the products right there. Um, the next product I had lined up is don't laugh, but it's like this waist thong Shaper uh, or something like that. I, I, keep, I was swiping. It looks like I saw an ad for it and it looks like it's an underwear It's an underwear body shaper or a butt enhancer butt enhancer. So now on the internet Sometimes these products I can't even believe what they're calling them or what they're actually for but honestly I have realized that I have gotten the best results from products that solve problems, which I think that this could be a problem that it solves for women, so it could be valuable, but also products that specifically solve like somewhat of like insecurities, right? Uh, typically, I don't think women wanna be around not having their butts perfectly shaped as they're walking around, so I think that that may be a problem. Uh, at least for you know for, for some women and so I personally like for those of you guys that have been around for some time you guys may recall I shared how the first winning product that I had was actually with these magical push-up bras and so I think the reason why that product did so well was because it solved an insecurity and it solved that problem so I think that this product could also be a pro a product that does really well for you guys again I saw an ad for the product uh, I did a little bit of research it does look like it has the metrics that I typically look look for within winning products so um I, I you know i try it out i consider it or if not research it and add it onto your list of products to test uh, at the bare minimum um now the last product that i wanted to share with you guys is actually this it's this dog flea comb dog flea comb now i think that the pet space personally is huge and there's countless amount of products within this space. I did see an ad for this product 
um, just recently and I have found a few stores that are really doing really big numbers with this specific product. Um, so I'd recommend that you guys consider possibly testing this product out specifically, especially because again, like you also have to consider when it comes to these, the reason why I think that these three products have potential is because they're also relevant to the time of the year. So for example, with the first product, we already know that it's it's relevant to not only this time of the year, but basically any time of the year, because typically if people are out hunting, hiking, or any any of those outdoor, or doing any of those outdoor activities, um, they're exposed to the sun. So that product can be used at any time of the year, I think, but I think specifically now in the summer, it is a big time for a product like that. Um, the butt shaper or butt enhancers, I think a lot more women will be out in the summer wearing dresses and wearing clothing that they obviously want to have their best form in and so um, I think that that product is also relevant to right now in the summertime and now this last product is a pet flea comb I think people I believe I mean I have I have a dog so I know that I haven't had a dog for too long but I do see a lot more people bringing out their pets and their dogs or in, in their any pets that they have out more in the summertime and typically if they're bringing them out they understand that sometimes dogs can get fleas or any of these other bugs or um, any of these like uh, possible like infections or anything when they're outdoors and so uh, I think that this product could could be a potential winning product simply because of the time of the year and it, it does solve a problem because nobody wants to have their dog or any pet have fleas so um, yeah, I mean, if you look at the trend within the products that we've uh, I've kind of gone over, they do all solve a problem and they are relevant to the time of the year. So personally, again, and I'm not saying this because I, you know, like I'm not saying this because I'm just like saying it to say it. Like I've had experience with products that are relevant to the time of the year and also solve problems. So I figured I saw these products. I personally don't have the time to test them right now because I already have other products that I'm working on testing within my micro brands and other brands that I'm planning on launching. So I figured why not alley-oop them to you guys to you know check them out and see if you know they're potential winning products for you guys. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. That's a lot of what I wanted to cover. Um, if you guys got any value from this video, I'd appreciate it if you dropped the like. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that I went over in this video or any other video, uh, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you join the fam, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.